Hello Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Welcome and welcome cross watchers. I'm going to take a look at your situation with you and your person in mind. Remember that this is a general reading, so it may or may not resonate for everyone. You can always take a look at your other placements because you may find some messages there for you. And if you're interested in a personal reading much like this, I will leave all of that information in the description box below for you guys, okay? So let's get started for you, Gemini. Just for Gemini and their person in mind. What is going on with Gemini and their person? I'm seeing that in the past you could have gotten married or there could have been talks about getting married or just um, being committed, being in a relationship. And so I see that in the past here, um, th this situation could have involved the community around you. Um, so something could have been given, vows could have been given. I see that you and this person have given already to each other, could have been money, resources, uh, love, effort in the past here with the Six of Pentacles. So I see that something was given here. Uh, could be a promise, but I get that things have been exhausting. So I, I'm seeing that in the past here, somebody was taken, taking more than what they were giving and it left somebody feeling exhausted. It left someone feeling um, tired or worn out here and wondering if things will end up balancing out here. This is somebody who you have known before. Six of Cups, this is someone from the past or somebody who's been in your life for a long time. This could have been also a friend here with the Six of Cups. Um, I see that 66 could be significant for somebody, but I see that definitely like the balance, the balance is off here. Things are not equal. Things haven't been reciprocated before. But I see that there was some form of commitment between you and this person. Somebody has committed them, committed themselves to this uh, relationship or to this uh, situation, and wanting to build towards something stable and something safe. So in your person's energy right now, we have kisses, unconditionally loving, giving and receiving affection, falling in love. So let's take a look at what your person is thinking and feeling in terms of you and the situation here. Uh, two of Swords. So it looks like right now things are at a stalemate. Your person feels like things are at a stalemate. Maybe you're not on talking terms. You're not speaking, ignoring each other. Um... I see that your person is feeling like they're being ignored or you have your back turned towards them and it's uh, exhausting them as well here. So I see that this person is wondering if they can trust this situation. They are confused. They are indecisive here about what's really going on. And I see that when it comes to uh, your person, this person still is, they're confused whether or not the love is the same here. If there's um, someone else that you care about or I see that this person here, they're trying to follow their heart. They're trying to follow their heart. This person is still... Um, very much in love with you here. They are still very much in love with you, but they are 
a little bit unsure about what direction things are going in because it look it feels like things aren't moving forward or you guys are stuck in the same spot as before and it's like this a conversation that doesn't really go anywhere it just ends up in the same um, place or same situation here and um, it's exhausting your person and I see that your person is starting to wonder whether or not um, this is worth fighting for or worth um, keeping in your energy we have healthy choices making healthy choices in love and in life self-love self-care and being happier so I see that you're trying to make better choices in love and in life, making healthy choices here. So what is Gemini thinking, feeling in terms of this situation? Uh, we have the Knight of Pentacles. So I see that you are not wanting to skip any um, anything. You're, you're wanting to do things the right way and you want to make sure that the way that you are uh, communicating is understandable and is clear and that you are coming off as uh, mature with what you're trying to get across so there's something that you're trying to get across to this person here um, and I see that you are uh, being you're being patient here I'm seeing that there was a lot of investment already. You have already made a lot of effort and investment into this with your person here. So I see that it's like things are feeling like they're moving really slow or things are taking a lot of time to improve within a commitment or within a, a community here. So, I see that you have an offer. You have an offer that you want this person, but you want to make sure that they are also giving you the same type of uh, offer that you're looking for. So, <laughs> bless me. Sorry, guys. Uh, we have the Three of Wands. I am seeing that there's something that you are waiting for or there's someone who's kind of waiting on you here because it looks like this horse is kind of waiting on her to come back around somebody's and somebody is trying to wait is waiting for you to come back around here uh, for some of you you may have just turned your back completely on this person here right your back is turned towards this person you're trying to make better choices here um, with or without them. In the near future, we have twin flames, yin and yang, zen, balance, union, duality, coupling, complement each other. So let's look at the near future with you and your person, Gemini. By the way, you could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius, Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus here. What's going on in the near future with Gemini and their person? It's coming in in the near future. Okay. Take the first card here. Seven of Cups. Okay, so I see that in the near future, you're going to have a lot of options, a lot of choices. There's a lot of people that are uh, wanting to offer you love that are wanting to date you, wanting to court you. So you have, the ball is in your court in the near future here. I'm seeing that there's someone around you that is wanting to offer you um, some type of loyalty, wanting to be serious about you here. So there's some sort of, a sort of choice that you're trying to make here. And... Um, Eight of Wands, there's communication that's coming in. There's communication coming in from a lot of different, um, a lot of different offers, options, opportunities. There is messages arriving, calls, texts, or emails, or travels. 
you could be meeting people while you are traveling here. And um, But I see things are moving very, very quickly. Things are starting to escalate very, very fast here. And it's going to need a quick decision very soon. So I see that um, there's an offer that you are rejecting. There's something that you are saying no to. Something that you are no longer wanting to uh, be a part of. No longer wanting to um, argue or exhaust yourself because now you're starting to make better choices, healthier choices for your spirit, uh, your mental, your mental, your physical, everything. So I see you saying no to something here. No to a choice or a decision, but there's a lot of communication that might be overwhelming at first, but there's a lot of, um, there's a lot of opportunities for you in the near future. In your outcome with your person, we have Girl Talk. Uh, time with friends, moving on, happily single, living in the moment, and having fun. So let's look at your outcome with you and your person, Gemini. Let's get one card here for Gemini in the outcome. Just one card. Please, one card. The Hierophant, whoa. The Hierophant, wow. So, I'm seeing that. Oh, wow. I don't see you being single any longer, Gemini. The Hierophant and the Lovers. You could be meeting somebody as you're... Um, single, happily single, living in the moment, or having fun, or spending time with friends. You could be meeting somebody here that is a twin flame, but I see that you're not going to be alone anymore. I see a serious offer being given to you. I see a decision being made towards a commitment or towards a marriage or working on a marriage, choosing to um, stay in a marriage or a relationship or you will be getting into a new relationship here with somebody who is serious about you. So I see things being uh, traditional, taking st certain steps to be together here, making a choice to be together. And um, I see that love is growing here. Somebody is offering their love and somebody is wanting to somebody is wanting to be with you after a time of feeling left out in the cold or abandoned here so i do see that um, for some of you uh, you're making a choice to be with somebody here and other people might be feeling abandoned by you or left out by you but ultimately you are going to be happy Gemini. Let's get some details for you guys. Some details for Gemini. Okay. So I see that in the past you have been dating someone or you could have been dating uh, something about a full moon could be significant or wine, red wine in, to be specific. I see that your person, um, they could be really focused on their finances or money right now or they could be somebody who has high status when it comes to their uh, finances. Uh, I see that maybe this person has supported you monetarily. And um, I see that right now you're going through a major growth period. You are doing things differently. There's a lesson that you are um, taking the steps that you need to take when you are learning it here. So I definitely see that you are growing. Your aura is growing. You are glowing. There is major changes within yourself here that you are just surrendering yourself to. You or this person could be a young female. 
end we also have dark male so somebody who's dark for their cultural background or um, just dark in general could have some dark features so let's get a few more cards before I close off this reading here somebody could be Egyptian or Middle Eastern also Is there anything else that we should know here? Is there anything else? Okay. We have separation, time apart from your partner is on the horizon. So your person, they miss you. Um, they feel the separation. This could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner that you seek. So I see that um, something is being worked on in an existing relationship here worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life here. So I see that things are going to take its course, uh, but divine timing is at work in your love life. And um, I do see that in the, the outcome here, things are going to be worked in on an existing relationship. So this is what I'm getting for you guys. If you like this reading, please comment, like, and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can be updated for future videos. Let me know if it resonated. And I hope that you found some guidance or clarity in your situation. And thank you for watching. Bye.